Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cher if you're new here. First of all, I wanna wish you all a very happy new year. This is my first video of 2022. So how's everybody doing? How is your year starting off so far? Uh, here in my area, we've gotten off to kind of a little bit of a slow start. Uh, school just started today, actually, was Megan's first day back in over almost a month, actually. Uh, some of you might recall she had her wisdom teeth taken out the week before uh, Christmas break started. So, yeah, she's been out of school for just about a month. So I, for one, was a happy mama to get kind of some resemblance of a routine back. Uh, I went back to work last week, so... I'm hoping this all works out and schools remain open. My office can run with everybody staying healthy. Yeah, what a what a crazy world we're living in. I, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys, first one of the year. And I also have some things that I'm really excited to share with my fellow Canadians. Uh, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart and I got in on some after Christmas sales that I think you might be interested in. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with the items that I picked up from Dollar Tree this week. And first up is this box of detoxifying charcoal paper masks. Now this is from the brand called Yes to Tomatoes. Never heard of it before. You get 10 masks in here and it is a US product. Uh, I checked on the back here. I wanted to make sure it wasn't from China. It actually comes from the US. And so I thought these would be kind of fun to play around with. So Megan and I can give these a try one night. Uh, maybe a movie night or something like that. We can put one of these face masks on. Now the next items actually, uh, my store had just put out a ton of fairy garden items. So you can imagine my heart kind of goes a little faster when I see that. This time I showed great restraint. I didn't buy any of the little houses. There was quite a few, some repeat ones that I've seen before and some new ones too. There was actually some really cute ones, but I just know myself. I know what I'm using, you know, especially the last couple of years. I know kind of what I gravitate to and what I actually do use. And I didn't want to buy a bunch of stuff that I know I wasn't going to put. So this first one was, I thought was really cute. It's kind of like this little spiral staircase. It's got like moss and stuff on it. So I thought that was really super cute. Uh, I do a lot of farm scenes. So a lot of these items are farm related. I don't have a tractor. So I thought I would better grab this cute little red tractor. And you guys know I love me the red trucks. So of course this one had to come home with me and it has like this little hay bale stuff in the back. So I thought that was really, really cute. You really have to watch though, be picky and choosy, look through them all because the paint jobs on these things are never the greatest at the best of times. So try to find something that doesn't look too bad or you can also, you know, kind of touch things up yourself if you've got paint that kind of matches or re totally redo them yourself if you want to. Um, I picked up one of these little kind of like pathways. I love these. These come in really handy for all kinds of fairy gardens. And this one's kind of got kind of a spring look to it. Um, you can also get two or three of them and put them together to make a longer path if you want. Anyway, I thought that was really cute. I also found this little kind of like little wagony kind of thing with the hay bale in the back. And I guess that's supposed to be a chicken. Doesn't really look like a chicken, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> And then I just picked up a couple of animals, which I thought were kind of fun because I don't have a lot of these kinds of things. So I got the little horse. He's pretty cute. And I also picked up the little cow. Take the little sticker off here. It's got a little cow. And then the last thing I grabbed was this adorable little hen and her chicks. I thought that was really sweet. Again, don't look too closely at the paint job. This was like one of the better ones, believe it or not. <laughs> but like I said, you could go in and just try to kind of fix up the painting if you wanted to, but from a distance, you can't really tell. So Dollar Tree also comes out with a lot of fairy garden accessories to kind of go with the houses and things like that. And they always have these little packages. Um, they have the little gnomes and they have little figurines, little um, signs and things like that. I just picked up two of these packages because I love that it's got like the little cabbages here. This I assume is carrots in a little wagon. I didn't buy it for the carrots. I mainly got it for these so you can make like a little garden scene, um, which I often like to do with kind of like my fall fairy gardens, uh, like with the pumpkins and all that kind of stuff. So I grabbed a couple packs of those and that was it, you guys. I was pretty impressed that I didn't go crazy. I definitely would have, you know, a couple of years ago, I would have bought everything probably, but I held myself back. <laughs> So next up, I have a bunch of Valentine's stuff, you guys. Oh my goodness. They have outdone themselves this year for Valentine's Day. Holy moly. Again, I could have went crazy, but 
they haven't even got all the things out yet. There's still lots of boxes that are unpacked, but what I did come out with, I was pretty excited. So first up are these two adorable little gnome signs. Oh man, these are so cute. I just absolutely fell in love with both of these. Um, I think these would be really cute on their own or on a wreath. I actually plan on probably putting these in my Valentine's tree. Yes, you heard me right. I have kept my Christmas tree up. I did this last year too, and I kept it up till after Easter. I decorated it for Valentine's Day, and I decorated it for Easter, and I loved it. And you know what? My motto this year is do the things that make you happy. You know what? There's a lot of stuff, stressful things going on in the world right now. That's my advice to you. Do the things that make you happy, and keeping my Christmas tree up until after Easter made me happy last year, and I'm doing it again. So a lot of these items that you're gonna see, I have that in mind. I'm gonna be putting them on my tree. So yeah, I thought those were really, really cute. And then I found some other signs that I thought would also work really, really well in my tree as well. So I found these kind of like little tags. Now you could also use these if you wanted to redo them and you know paint them or whatever and make your own tags if you want these i've seen even at christmas time they come out with this shape as well these are great i love the the plaid kind of look here and then i also got it in the black and they had a red one as well i didn't grab the red i just grabbed the pink in the black so this next sign was an absolute no-brainer it had to go in my cart and come home with me oh my goodness red truck and gnomes yes please <laughs> how stinking cute is this like this just even by itself as a decor piece is absolutely just perfection in my mind and i thought you could even pop these little wooden noses off and put some little pom-poms on here for the noses that would be kind of cute could go on a wreath could go anywhere it could even go on my tree actually i'm not sure where this will end up but yeah it definitely had to come home with me and the gnomes just keep on coming. Oh my gosh, Dollar Tree gnomes. We love us our gnomes and look at what they did. They brought us these adorable little tiny little gnomes. Oh, they are so cute, you guys. These would be perfect, uh, like the perfect size to put on a tiered tray. Uh, Megan actually, a couple weeks before Christmas, we put a couple of uh, floating shelves in her room and we decorated it with some really cute items that we picked up for Christmas and she really wants to do more of a Valentine's theme. So this is probably, these guys are probably going to end up on her little shelf, but yeah, so I got a few of items here coming up that are also going to be going on her shelf. We have some more gnomes. They uh, gave us them on a little stick. Uh, I plan on popping these off the sticks probably and just putting some kind of a hanger and I think I'll put these on my Christmas tree or I should call my Valentine's tree. But they were really, really cute as well. Now they also had some really cute little plushies. Uh, there was a few different varieties of these as well. I picked up a few again to put on Megan's little shelves. I thought they were so cute and they're really squishy. So cute. These would be really awesome for like a Valentine's gift basket for your kids. Uh, yeah, they had some really, really cute ones. So I grabbed this little donut as well. Super cute. So when I saw these adorable little wooden heart plaques, I thought they were so cute. They remind me of those little conversation hearts that you get, you know, the candies at Valentine's Day with all the different sayings on them. And there was a few varieties at Dollar Tree. So I picked up the pink one. I picked up this blue one. And I also picked it up in the purple. They all had different sayings on them. So yeah, I think these are really cute. You could put these on your tiered trays as well or just anywhere for just regular decorating. I think they'd be really cute. You could also flip them over and do your own thing on the back if you wanted to. I'm really sorry about the color changing here throughout this video. I'm fighting with the sun today. Oh my gosh, one minute it's super sunny. The next minute it's dark. Oh man, anyway, moving on. I found these really, really cute little metal envelopes. I thought these were so sweet. Again, these are gonna look amazing on my tree. You could put little notes in here, like little love notes for your kids or your significant others. They'd be really cute. Uh, I picked up two of each of these, and this is the colors that they came in in my store anyway. I didn't see any other colors. Uh, and then I found these, which I was really hoping I would be able to find because I'd seen other people hauling them. How cute are these? Again, on a tiered tray, on those little book stacks, which I'm hopefully gonna be able to find those at my store. I don't know if you guys have seen them yet. Dollar Tree has come out with just some amazing items this year. I'm really hoping that they'll be in one of those unopened boxes. <laughs> anyway, this is the other one that I grabbed. Love these as well. 
So these little hard grapevines actually are a repeat buy. I bought some of these last year and I decorated with them on my work Christmas tree this year and they look so cute on there and I actually used them on my Valentine tree last year. I have a white Christmas tree that I decorate and it looks so good. These contrast perfectly on the white. So I thought I'd grab a couple more packs of these. Um, they didn't have a whole lot so if you see these you might want to grab them because I think these are a pretty popular item and they kind of fly off the shelves. So these little berry garlands actually I found on an end cap. So if I hadn't really been looking, I would have missed out on these, which I'm glad I didn't because these are so nice. There was a red one as well that had kind of the glitter on and there was another color here as well. Oh, like a purple, like a mauve kind of color. It was really pretty too, but I just grabbed the pink and the white. Um, again, you could put these on a little miniature tree or on your tier trays or wherever you can do a lot of crafting things with these as well so if you see these you might want to grab some the white would even come in handy for Christmas so just kind of thinking ahead um, yeah you might want to grab some of this stuff so Megan and I love making hot chocolate bombs and we did make some at Christmas time and we plan on probably doing some more for Valentine's Day so when I found the little pink foil uh, baking cups I grabbed a couple packages of these you get 18 in here and these do come in different colors as well there was red there was silver there was gold um, but i love it when i can find the pink ones and i like to stock up when i do see them so an item i always pick up from dollar tree are their seasonal cards oh my gosh they come out with such beautiful cards for all the different holidays and valentine's they definitely hit it out of the park so first up we have this adorable little kitten one here i plan on giving this one to megan just says i think you're perfect and on the inside it says sending a great big hug and a heart full of love happy valentine's day and then we've got this one i plan on giving this one to my boyfriend i'm always buying him kind of funny socks so i gravitated to this one i thought it was kind of cute it just says we make a great pair you make my life wonderful happy valentine's day i thought that was really cute and then this one I just bought because I thought it would actually be cute on a tear tray or maybe in a frame possibly. I just thought this was so well done with the red truck and all the little hearts coming out of it. And this one just says happy Valentine's Day, sending loads of love to you on Valentine's Day. So yeah, if you see these, you might wanna grab some of these. They tend to kind of go quickly, uh, more so than just the regular cards, you know, the val Valentine's cards. They are really well done and for $1.25, which is what we pay, well actually, you know, I used to say that all the time, which is what we pay in Canada, but you guys in the States are now paying, a lot of your guys' stores are $1.25 as well now. So I don't have to say that anymore because we're all kind of the same across the board now. <laughs> So these next items that I'm going to share with you are actually going to be part of a gag 40th birthday gift for a good friend of mine. She's turning 40 here very soon. And I kind of went on Pinterest to kind of get some ideas as to what to put in this gift. And if you guys can come up with any other ideas, please share them with me because I want to fill up this basket that I got. So pick this up at Dollar Tree. Uh, it was $1.50. Some of our items in Canada are $1.50. Just a little FYI, some of you that have maybe not been shopping in your store for a while, they have gone up. Some of the bigger and more nicer items have gone up to $1.50. But you know what? Still a really good price to pay on a huge container like this, I think. So I'm going to share with you some of the items that I put in here. Now, most of these have kind of uh, a private joke between the two of us uh, related to it. So you might not get it, but I'm not going to tell you the, the joke behind it. But anyhow... First up is this little pack of toilet paper. Now Dollar Tree is a great source to put together a gift like this because you can fill up this thing for, you know, 20 bucks you could put together a really great, funny gift. Keep in mind though, that this kind of gift is maybe not for everyone. Just be careful who you're kind of giving these kinds of things to, but I know that she's got a pretty good sense of humor and I think that she's gonna get a real kick out of this. Anyway, got a, a four pack of toilet paper. I picked up this uh, Sure and Free Disposable Adult Underpad. <laughs> I think that's obvious. Um, I grabbed this little pill holder because I seen this really cool idea on Pinterest. I plan on taking uh, this off. I'm just going to use some acetone fingernail polish remover and I'm going to, this should just probably wipe right off and then I'm going to put my own labels on here. But what you do is you take some Skittles or some M&Ms and you separate all the colors and you put them in each of the little compartments here. And then on each one of these, you put, you know, like when you got a hot flash, take the red ones or when you got, you know, you're cranky or whatever. 
<laughs> and then the other one, you leave one that has all the colors in and it's like, okay, when you've got all the symptoms, you, you eat all the colors. Anyway, I thought that'd be really funny. I'll come up with some kind of cool ideas as to what to label each of these. But yeah, that was, I thought was kind of a cute little gift. And you can get a lot of stuff in these big pill holders. These are great. I've bought these before for just, you know, vitamins and stuff like that. But again, that's something she could use afterwards too. <laughs> Uh, next up, I grabbed one of these for her as well. I thought that this just was perfect kind of a little addition to put in there. This is also a private joke. I grabbed her a pair of fleece-lined tights. I didn't actually get these at Dollar Tree. I picked these up at another store. They were around $8 or something like that. They are fleece-lined. Um, she's always cold, but there's another reason why I got these, so she will get it. I'm not going to tell you why. Okay, moving on. I also bought... <laughs> this little pregnancy kit again kind of a private joke anyhow it's great that you can buy stuff like this at Dollar Tree for a buck oh my goodness next up I just picked up this uh, little pack of feminine cleaning wipes I also grabbed this little facial ice roller to get rid of wrinkles and speaking of wrinkles I picked up a little bottle of anti-wrinkle night cream and anti-wrinkle eye cream and I picked up a pair of cheaters she's always bragging how she's got the best eyesight and that her eyesight's never gonna go downhill and I keep telling her I'm like oh you just wait honey you just wait so she might actually be able to put these to use in the next year or two I'm thinking grabbed a box of these self-explanatory <laughs> you never know when you know surprise surprise right Need some of those and then I had kind of made a list of some of the things that I had seen on Pinterest to kind of give me some ideas. But like I said, if you have some that I don't have on this list, please let me know so that I can, you know, add a few more things to this bucket. Uh, one of the other things I thought I would try to grab uh, from somewhere is maybe like a magnifying glass. Thought that might be kind of a good thing to put in there. Also going to grab her a timer because as we get a little older, I mean, I'm, I'm totally bad for this. I get busy doing something. I totally forget what I'm doing. I lose track of time. So a timer I thought might be kind of a good little addition to this. And then some of the things that I'd seen in some of these other kits that people put together had stuff like Preparation H, Advil, Tylenol, A535, uh, Band-Aids. What else? Uh, yeah, just crazy things like that. Anyway, like I said, please give me some hints if you have some great ideas. I'd love to hear. So these next items I purchased from Shoppers Drugs and these are all discounted Christmas items and I was super excited to come across this first one for sure. This is something that Megan and I already own although we don't have the lavender scent one um, and we fight over the one we have. So I grabbed two of these actually because when I tell you how much I paid for these, you're gonna wanna run not walk, run over to your shopper's drugs and see if you can grab yourself some of these too because these are regularly $32. These were discounted to, uh, what did I pay for this? $13.19. So you can make these hot, you can make them cold. They're great for around your neck because they kind of have, that's the right shape that they are. And it's kind of cool that this one is actually the lavender scent. Uh, ours doesn't have any of that. But um, yeah, so I plan on giving one of these to Megan. And I'm actually going to put one of these into that gag gift uh, for my girlfriend for her 40th birthday. You know, for aches and pains and whatever. So this is a really great deal. Even just for like next Christmas or birthdays or whatever. These are a fantastic gift to give to someone. So like I said, for $13.00 off from 32 that was an amazing amazing price so of course they still had lots of Christmas chocolates and candy and all that kind of stuff so I couldn't resist picking up this box of peanut clusters they're from President's Choice and these were regularly I think they were like six bucks or something and I got these for $3.99 which I thought was a pretty good price for a big box of chocolates I think I might put these into that birthday gift as well you know you get you know your sugar cravings I might put some chips or something in there too like salty and and sweet kind of cravings that might go in there as well I'm just trying to think of things to fill that basket up <laughs> next up is this adorable little kinder um, surprise kind of kit Megan used to get these all the time when she was little and she loved them I think she'll think this is really cute uh, it's kind of pinkish so I think this could you know totally go for something for Valentine's Day I'm kind of putting together a little thing for her so these, I can't remember the regular price on these, but they're usually about six or seven dollars. They're not cheap. And you get how many in here? 
you get four Kinder Eggs in here. And this was $2.79. I thought that was a pretty good price for that. Then I found this little kit of Tic Tacs. You get four little boxes of Kit Kats, uh, all different flavors. And this one was $2.79. They had all their Lindor chocolates on for 99 cents. So they're regularly, well, they can be anywhere from $1.25 to even a little bit more. So for 99 cents, I like, Megan and I really like these ones with the little snowman on here. I think, I think they're white chocolate, if I'm not mistaken. Milk and white chocolate, they're a mixture of both. And last but not least, I picked up this little dark chocolate, salted caramel, kind of like a stir stick. Uh, you could put this in your coffee or your hot chocolate or whatever. And this was $1.99. So that's everything that I have to share with you guys for this first haul of 2022. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I hope you all stay healthy and safe and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.